A statue honoring miners. Pretty meaningless now. Joe. Sam? <laughs> you old bridge jumper, how you been? What's the calendar say? Two years, Joe. It's been two years. Too long. Heard you showed up yesterday. The boys give you trouble? <laughs> they might have given me a bit of a welcome back. After the mine closed, well, it ain't easy to put food on the table. Don't let that weigh on you. No one else has lost their legs recently. I noticed you weren't at the bar last night. Went home after the service. Being crippled takes it out of you. Normally, I'd be rotting away in my recliner, but... I like to come out, see the decorations. Pay my respects to old iron here. This town's been a mining town before I was born, and it'll be one after I die. It's good to get out and celebrate your roots every now and then. I don't have the same perspective on Miner's Day that other people have. No, I suppose you wouldn't. So, how have you been holding up? Terribly. But Anna keeps me young. How'd you ever let her get away? Uh, you probably know better than me. I heard all about it. Still, I always liked you. Straight shooters are a rare breed these days. I like a man that can look me in the eye and say what he means. You haven't seen Dennis today, have you? I wish. Just about the only guy I could talk hockey with. Not football? I want to talk football. I can just grab anybody on the street. Dennis actually enjoys a man sport. But no, I haven't seen him. I have places I need to be, but... It's good to see you. Just promise you won't wait two years before saying boo again. <laughs> I'll do my best. Joe has no idea where Dennis went. Someone must have seen him after the fight. Bug, what are you doing out here? Hey, Millie. <laughs> Waiting for my mom to get off her shift at the pharmacy. Drawing. I got a new journal after I left the old one somewhere. <laughs> See? Did you get home okay last night? Yeah. I bike everywhere. It's not like anything scary bad happens in Basswood. At least not normally. <laughs> I heard you asking about my dad last night. Careful about listening to other people's conversations. Some find it rude. Then everyone should talk quieter. <laughs> That's what I always say. Ever consider being a reporter when you grow up? Hmm, thought about it. But that's not what I want to do. Did you find out anything? About my dad? Not yet. Not really, at least. Let me know if you find anything. Please. I feel like I need something. It's just this town, you know? This place. It feels like I'm suffocating. I can't breathe. I can't think. I can't stand my mom. I don't like school. Well, except for science. Have you seen Dennis today? What? No, I haven't. Were you even listening to me? I shouldn't be surprised. No one listens to me. I was listening. I just need to find Dennis. If you hear anything about what happened to my dad, let me know. Otherwise, just leave me alone.
might be someone who you can trust, who can help. I woke up today and my shirt was covered in blood. Blood? What happened? I don't know. Last night, pills and alcohol mixed. It's all a blur. That's why I'm looking for Dennis. Have you tried the basswood jungle? He likes to work weekends. No, not yet. I'll do that right now. Sam, is there anything I can do to help? Oh, uh, nah. I'm just gonna do my own thing. Samuel, Samuel, my young soul, are you still haunting this pallid town? Walter, you haven't seen Dennis today, have you? Can't say I have. I hear you got into quite a tussle, quite the tussle. Nothing other than that? You should try the Basswood Jungle office. I've known him to go in on Sundays. He may be a prickly pear, a very prickly pear, but he's dedicated. If he says something will be done Monday, come the devil or come the rain, it is. I'll keep that in mind. Thanks. You know, I'm glad I ran into you. If I may bend your ear for a moment. I've been thinking lately about age, life, the turn of the clock. No one gets sharper with age. When do you think it's time to hang up the saddle? A true cowboy rides until the last day they can ride. I had a feeling you'd say that. I have a lot to think about. Thank you for your ear, but soon I must abscond. Sunday lunch with Mother is sacred. Call on me any time, young Samuel. Any time. At least the basswood jungle is still standing. It's not worth it. No one works on a Sunday. Well, no one except me. Locked. I should check the back. My, my, my. Look what we got here. Is that Sam Higgs? Trying to get back in the newspaper game? I thought you got the message last night. Of course, it was hard to tell. Considering you let Declan do your talking for you. Look, fellas. You know, Basswood can be a dangerous place. Well, so maybe consider just getting. 
before something bad happened to you. I'll leave when I'm good and ready. Just make it sooner rather than later. De Declan's right down the street. Watch yourself while you're in Basswood, because we'll be watching you. This used to be my home, or at least felt like it. Where is Dennis? He should be in here. Dennis! Focus, you can think through any problem. Keep going. You got this. Don't give up, Sam. You almost have it. It's a distraction. Keep going. You got this. Don't give up, Sam. You almost have it. his office. There must be some clues around. Sam, keep it together. You can solve this. Figure this out before Dennis dies again and the panic overwhelms you. Chest wound. What kind of weapon did this? Gunshot. The bullet went clean through. The killer must have been close. Where did the bullet go? Some IT documents. Nothing useful. 
gunshot. The bullet went clean through. The killer must have been close. Where did the bullet go? The bullet stopped here, small caliber like Dennis's gun. I need to find that gun. His gun is gone. He had it earlier. Where did it go? The shooter used Dennis's gun, but I didn't have it this morning. And how did I get the blood on me? The blood has been disturbed. By what? A blood trail leads off. Someone or something moved through it. Me? The blood pooled where Dennis fell, so the body was moved. If I moved it, that's how the blood got on my shirt. picture now. Blood on the shirt was Dennis's, but I didn't kill him. I found him dead. Blackout drunk, panicked. I stumbled to my car. Luckily, I ended up back at the hotel and not wrapped around a pole. Now, I know I didn't do it. The police, though, may not feel the same way. I need to search the area. See if I can find out why someone would murder Dennis. I need to find out why Dennis was killed. It may have something to do with Nick. Dennis's computer is still signed in. Seems like a good place to start. Whatever Nick was looking into seemed big, but he said it fizzled out.
Emails between Nick and Dee. They're talking in codes. Nothing stated clearly. They didn't want to risk anyone learning of their meetings. Smart. Someone was watching. The puzzle comes together. Dennis was reading everyone's emails. He found out that Nick hadn't stopped his investigation like he'd told Walter. And that Nick was still talking to some informant. Then he decided to tell me. And now he's dead. I need to look through any notes Nick left in his office and check Walter's computer. They have to have something for me to go on. Nick must have left some notes behind somewhere. Walter also might have something on Nick's work. I should look around. Nick's computer is missing. He took it home to work or stolen. The only thing she cared about then was looking at bugs and drawing them. Nick. Anna, and me. Nick wouldn't mind if I kept this, for old time's sake. Valid question. Still not sure. They don't even work here anymore. Someone should really clean up this board. If I had the code, I could get in here. Something like 10,000 combinations, I doubt I'll stumble on it.
Your obsessive snooping pays off. Nick always kept extensive records of his work. He was almost obsessive. How could there be so little information regarding his last investigation? Nick was looking into the impact the closure of the mine had on Basswood. But what was he looking for? Nick was traveling all over. Train tickets, hotel bills, out of state even. He was tracking something, or someone. Nick had a contact. Same name as in the email. He was onto something big. What Nick was looking into was something big and dangerous. It's why he was so careful. It's possible Walter missed something. Could be worth checking his office. always treated us like family. something around here that hints at Walter's password. Ugh. My heart's desire. It could mean a person, but also a place. Walter was never tech-savvy. He just uses words that mean something to him. There's a good chance there's a clue in his office. Walter had this article framed after he saw the boost in traffic the Haven got. Basswood is his blood and soul. Wouldn't surprise me if he said it as his password. <laughs> his granddad rock a thing? If so, Walter and Anna are both into it. Good for Walter that Judith is doing all right. She means the world to him. So much so that she could be his password. Prin never looked happy a day in her life. Been Walter's cat for years. Maybe he said her name as his password. I can't imagine Walter getting a suntan at the beach. He can't stay still. And I'm in. Let's see what secrets you got in here, Walter. Mostly standard so far, by the book. I see why Walter wasn't worried. Wait, that doesn't make sense. 
Nick would never drive without his seatbelt on, and he always kept his window open. A car really burned, though that's very uncommon in most crashes. So, Walter got the police report from Bess. Nick was supposedly drunk at the wheel, which doesn't sound like him. And his seatbelt was off and his windows up, which both sound very wrong. Walter seemed to buy it, but I don't know if I do. how calm it is out there when, well, this happened. He loves all his first editions, but Alice in Wonderland always came out on top. That was just after Anna came on, and we really were a small clan. So, did you come to the logical conclusion to this mess we're in? Just a hint. We should get out of town immediately. Dennis tried to talk to me about Nick, and that's what got him killed. Exactly. Like I said, you should get out of town. And the details of Nick's death, it doesn't sound like him. Two years is a long time, Sam. He may have changed more than you know. Change decade-long habits? I need to go to the crash site. Just remember, if you're right... Sam? What's happening? Dennis. That's Dennis. What happened? Is he... Anna, I is listen he... to me. You need to be here with me and listen to what I have to say. Oh my god, no. It's... How could this happen? He died last night. Hours ago. Not much we can do right now. He asked me to meet him here after, but I was so drunk I arrived late. And the person that actually showed up killed him. Your bloody shirt was clearly from this. That means you were here yesterday. It links you to the crime scene. And you've been running around town all morning asking about Dennis. It won't look good. We need to call the police. They'll think I killed him. I thought I did at first. I have no alibi. This is not about you. Dennis had a family. They have to know what happened. It's the right thing to do. Do you want Walter to find his body come Monday? She has a point. Someone is gonna find him eventually. Involving the police would only slow us down. I'll be more efficient on my own. Efficient, and possibly friendless. You've already trusted Anna once. I suggest you keep on that road. Okay, but not that far. Use one of the landlines here and don't leave your name. You remember I'm a journalist, right? I know how to keep things confidential. Also, I think whoever did this might be linked to Nick's accident. This is about Nick? The crash? I'm going to the crash site to confirm my suspicions. I'm going with you. I don't know if that's a good idea. You trusted me before. It's only fair I do the same for you. I'll call the cops from here so they can't track us. All right. Looks like anything happened. It's been a week, but we'll find something. I know we will. Is it okay if I stay here? 
I don't think I'm ready to... Sure. I doubt I'll be good company anyway. You mean you're over-focused to the point of non-reactive thing? I remember. Especially how you always end up being right somehow. I hope. I don't know what I'm hoping for. Yeah, me neither. This is the place. Nick, I'll get to the bottom of this. First, gather the clues. Cold, hard, plain facts. That's the only way I'll know what really happened. The car went up like kindling. It was pretty intense judging the damages to the area. Bart got badly burned. Must be where Nick crashed. That piece of wood must be from one of the damaged road signs. No skid marks, no trace of sudden braking. The tire tracks clearly show where Nick's car went off the road. Two of the road signs were torn out. Did Nick's car do that? The fire shouldn't have been able to spread that far. These road signs are intact. Not a scratch on them. animal came through here. Maybe that's what surprised Nick. But the tracks don't reach the road. A fuel stain. From Nick's car? Was it leaking fuel? Nick took this turn every day. It shouldn't have surprised him.
Maybe Nick tried to avoid this log. It's a bit far from the road. That's all the information I need. Time to put everything together. The report states Nick was driving under the influence of alcohol. He was startled by an animal. And drove through a road sign before crashing into a tree. don't add up. road signs were damaged, two of them torn and burnt.
The fire damaged both the car and the train heavily. One simulation fits the evidence. The police report was wrong. I thought you quit. I did. So, did you find anything? Nick, he was murdered. I'm sorry, I don't... The police report was clearly wrong. Fucking... Anna? Here, just... Joe, it's Sam. Where's Anna? Is she okay? Yeah, she's right here. She's just a bit busy. I need her to come back immediately. There's been a break-in at her place. What? Are you alright? What happened? I wasn't there when it happened. Just arrived. Called the police, then called my daughter. We're on our way. Someone broke into your house. <laughs> 